What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to see what it's like to run a very old version of Windows in 2019. Now this is Windows Millennium Edition which was released in 2000 and got a lot of hatred from the community. So I'm running it in VirtualBox and if you want an ISO and product key so you can install it in VirtualBox and activate it, I will put that in the description. But um, I'm, only, I'm actually doing this video on my old computer because it seemed to actually, when all those virtual machines I ran in VirtualBox actually seemed to mess it up and I don't want to take that risk of doing it in my new computer so we're just sticking with this old version, or my not old version, my old computer to run the virtual machines should anything go wrong and that's that hasn't happened. Can we cancel that? Okay, good, because that, that was the first time that had ever happened. That sound was glitchy, but I love that classic, that classic boot up sound. Um, so here we are on the desktop. It looks a lot different than modern versions of Windows. You see, we got that old classic start button and start menu here. Um, we got our back when the quick launch bar was a thing instead of just the modern task bar. And then I actually set this background to what it is because it was the only thing. There are a lot of graphical issues in this, so I'll show you. If I go into Active Desktop customize my desktop and then go to background there are a bunch of built-in backgrounds but they're all so m graphically like messed up so like if I want to do Yosemite look at that and if I do okay look how it shows up that is just not right graphically so I'm just gonna go back and in Windows me was like the only one that even like displayed even close to correctly so we're just gonna go back to that but um you can see um actually a lot of pro default programs on the desktop um if we go we can go into my documents which is basically like the, the file explorer application and uh, let's see we, it actually comes with some sample music on here I've played around with this a little bit um um so those are actually all the same song. Um, and then, of course, there are some like basic pictures. And I wonder, I bet they're not going to, yep, I can guarantee you these are not going to display well. See, I, I'm sure that's not what it was like when this was actually released. But at the same time, I'm not sure. Because all the hatred that Windows Me got had to have come from somewhere. And I can definitely see that if that was the problem, I can understand. And there actually is a sample video file if you want to, you know, get started with Windows Movie Maker, which actually there is Windows Movie Maker on here. If we go into Start, Programs, and then, um, or that was Program, Documents, not Programs. Um, you can actually see we have Windows Movie Maker. So this is what video editing looked like for amateur video editing, at least. Definitely not professionals were not using Windows Movie Maker to make videos, but this is what it looks like. You know, I can drag a picture into the timeline here, and we're video editing. I still think there should be Windows Movie Maker and modern versions of Windows, but Microsoft hates us. Um, so I don't think I could actually see myself editing with this, considering how bad it is, but um, yeah, we definitely got Windows Movie Maker on here. And... Um, Wow, that... No, I don't want to save this. The sound does glitch on here. Now let's take a little break from the programs and take a look at Internet Explorer. Now I'm actually able to connect through the Internet just using the Wi-Fi on my host operating system, but there are only two websites that would actually load. So it can't even load the default homepage. So let's just go to um, Google and load that. It will load Google. You know what? I wonder if it loads Bing because Microsoft highly encourages Bing. And um, I wonder if Bing will actually load. That would be hilarious if Google loaded, but Bing doesn't. Oh, well, Bing somewhat loads. I mean, this is definitely not what Bing is supposed to look like. If so, you lost. You lost Microsoft. Google loaded better than your Bing. But um, if I like try to go to um, Facebook, we get this lovely message about how it couldn't be displayed. And um, YouTube will not load either, just because they're not, they just cannot be run 
on such an old operating system. But I do want to show you something interesting, though. If I type in ACID2 test, um, basically, if you don't know what the ACID2 test is, it's a test to see how kind of up-to-date your browser is, how good your browser is, by it'll, it'll display an image on using, like, the code in the web. I'm not exactly sure how it works since I don't know much about web design or web code, but um, it's kind of cool just to see. Wait, no, that it worked before. Is this the right one? Oh, no, that's the one I just clicked. Um, Where is it? Okay. It worked before, you guys. I was literally able to go in and take the acid 2 test. It actually loaded. Is it? Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you, what are you doing? Hold on. Go back. Acid. I want to take it. Oh, guys, I don't know why this is happening. Because it worked before. I wonder if... Here we go. Okay, so this is what it's supposed to look like. This is what browsers are supposed to render. Hello World text along with a nice little smiley face. This is what's supposed to happen. And this is what will render in any modern up-to-date browser. This is what it looks like in whatever version of Internet Explorer this is. Yeah, I'm no web designer, but something tells me that's not right. <laughs> but anyway, you can see there's really, there would be way more things to do in this browser if we could actually, if it would actually load a website. But you can see it's just a real basic version of Internet Explorer, which I'm sure would have been fine if it was 2000, but... Again, there were so many complaints, I have to wonder. So you can see, we have like, kind of setting up the internet connection, recycle bin, I think we all know what that does. Do, do you know what the recycle bin's for? Do I have to explain that? Um, um, and then if I go down to the quick launch bar here, you see we have, that'll just show the desktop. We have Outlook Express, which was Express 5, dang. Wait, what? I haven't even put in a single email address. What is this email? I haven't even put in, oh, it's just welcome, nice, I see. Um, but yeah, just a real, real basic version email, which again, and I honestly wouldn't mind that today, just having a basic, you know, thing. So, I mean, the classic stuff is fine for a lot of people, but we actually have some built-in games. Look, look at all these games. Windows just doesn't have that anymore. You know, we got Heart, Solitaire, Free Cell. Um, internet checkers. Let's play some checkers. Oh my gosh, that is bad. And there's actually still a server going for this. At least there is in Windows XP. I know there is a server still going for this. So imagine if we could actually find someone playing internet checkers. Oh my god, it actually found someone. Gosh, sorry. Um, it's my turn, so let's move. So we're actually playing against someone online right now. This is the best online gaming you're going to be doing in this type of operating system. Come on, go, dude. But, um, no, he's not going. Um, so let, oh, he went. Look how bad the graphics are. It might be something wrong with the ISO that I downloaded, but, um, I don't know. He's about to take that piece, isn't he? Um, but we also have Pinball. Oh my gosh, Pinball was like the game to play when you were, if you grew up with this operating system, which I did not. I didn't know about Pinball when I was using XP. But, um, all right, let's, um, let's play some pinball here, um, if it will actually work. Yay, it's working. And, oh, great, cool. Man, I just can't get over how bad these graphics are. That was bad. Oh, wait, no, I, I did get that. Um, oh, man, this is... No! Okay, you know what? Actually, I'm not... There actually is still something that I want to show you. If I actually go into Windows Media Player here, there is a song that I can play, and it actually plays fine. Oh, wait, no, that's not the right one. Oh, man. We're running out of recording time, people. We got to get this to work. So you can see there's actually a song, but look what happens if I pause it. Such a beautiful way to break my heart. Wow guys, that's just crazy. Well the recording is about to end, Bandy Cam, since it can only go for 10 minutes. 
But, um, yep, that's what that sound effect was. So, I guess at this point, you're probably just listening to me. Or I'll probably put in a nice picture for you to look at, since I'm just kind of nice like that. But, that was using Windows Millennium Edition in in a modern operate or in a on in modern day it's amazing how much we can't do but that's all but it's amazing how we were able to get up get by on this kind of stuff back in the year 2000 and how we now we could never live with something like this even though it was only 19 years ago which in the grand scheme of things is not that long ago but also in a way it's still somewhat pretty similar to what we use today i mean a lot of it hasn't really changed it's just become more intricate but um yeah, before I go, I'd like to give a shout out to one of my best friends. He has a YouTube channel, and it's it is called Ripper. It used to be Ripper365, but um, if you like my content, you will definitely like the content that Ripper puts out. He's a r- super cool guy, has some pretty cool videos on YouTube, and I, if you like my content, you'll definitely like his. So be sure to go check him out, subscribe to his channel, because he's one of my best friends. He's a super cool guy, so... Alright guys, thanks for watching.